2023, don't abandon Nigeria to those messing it up. Obasanjo charges Nigerian youth. <laughs> well, this is a very good advice, and I love what is going on. I love what Nigerian youths are doing already. They have taken this upon themselves. They have said it's not going to be game as usual. Things must change. Nigeria have to be rescued from the hands of those who feel that Nigeria is their property no more. You understand? So I love what is going on. The truth is that the forthcoming 2023 general elections is going to be a tsunami election that will bury greed, it will bury tribalism, sanctionalism, it will bury ethnicism favorism and impunity this time around nigerians are not talking about where you came from those who those who who, who are still talking about where you came from your religion and all that you are sleeping you have to wake up this fight now is is for everybody you understand if you are a nigerian you are feeling the heat you know what you are going through as a nigeria and you want to fight for your unborn children, the next generation, you have to forget about sentiment. Because this is what the youth are about to do. You know, when I hear people will say, eh, Peter Obi only have, um, what is it called, uh, supporters in, in, on social media and all that. I only say this, you all recall how the answers protest started. They did not start on social media. People was thinking that it's just, a childish play, Abby. But when they see the reality, even Nigerian government, they bow. They bow because what they did is out of cowardness. You know, the shooting in Lekki to get is out of cowardness. They don't defeat defeat already. So that was why they took that action. If they not, if if they have not done that, my people, <laughs> believe in me, that answers protests. Eh, if, if that thing for cause revolution in Nigeria. And if you don't change so many things, you understand? This time around, Nigerian youth are not sleeping. Enough of this. After going to school, no, no, no job. Your parents will borrow money so far to see you through schools. Then you come back again to your mother's house, you know, and start eating food. Start begging for food. You see a graduate doing the kind of job. Ah, haba. You get that Sibina, but these people, they are children safe. They never have any school. They don't get already made job. They wait for them. They have everything they are in heaven. Then every other person are in the air. Enough of this. I beg, make me quickly go straight to the news and uh, understand what uh, Osibanjo is trying to tell Nigerian youth. 2023, don't abandon Nigeria to those messing it up, I beg your pardon, Obasanjo, not to say Banjo, Obasanjo charges Nigerian youth. No fewer than 85 youths drawn from across the 36 states of the Federation, including the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Abuja, they have benefited from the tricycles, tricycles distributed by the former president, Olusegu Obasanjo, as part of the activities to mark his 80, uh, 85th birthday celebration. The tricycles, valued at 1 million naira each, were donated through the Youth Development Center of the Olusegu Obasanjo Presidential Library and were targeted towards ensuring that the youth are kept busy and self reliant without necessarily depending on anybody for survival. Speaking at the event, start Osibanjo 85 free KK program. Chief Osibanjo charged the Nigerian youth not to abandon the country for those messing it up, but brace up and make necessary contributions towards addressing the challenges confronting the nation, unleashing them to reject the famous claim that youths are the leaders of tomorrow. The former president said. The youth needed to hold the firm belief that today is their day, and as such, the younger generation must take advantage of the opportunities, okay, which 
abound in the country to better their lords. He emphasized that if the youth leave things to those who are messing it up now and who are saying they are youth and the leaders of tomorrow, they, the youth, are leaders of tomorrow, they will never have that tomorrow. That today is their tomorrow. Okay. Meanwhile, Nigerians have re reacted. Okay, before we take that reactions, happy birthday to you, Sam. Major respect, a word is okay for the wise. Because of his vast wealth scattered all over the country, Nigeria has long gone and is better uh, fragmented to save lives. Heart congratulations to you, Baba. Art 85, kudos for bringing relief to the Nigerian youth. God bless you, sir. I say amen. Okay, well, after graduated from different universities, now tricycle is our employment. Hmm, God help your youth in Nigeria. That is the reason why you have to stand up and say enough is enough. You understand? Baba is advertising you all to vote for Peter Obi. <laughs> Don't mind those Nigerian youths who do not understand the language the Baba is speaking in inner spirit, if you understand, you know. Baba, sincerely, you need rest as well. Remember when you tore PDP card into shit that gave rise to the calamity you brought to Nigeria to date? Your words and idea are no longer pertinent and you are at the point of demolition return. I strongly suggest you take a bow. Atiku is our president. He is industrious. He is friendly with Nigeria environment. He is economist. He is not a religious by God tree. Hence, more civilized and have more than 20,000 to say the least on his payroll. I better go and sit down. Someone said, Who be that one you did talk? How many you would serve in your regime? Okay, these are reactions by Nigerians. So, guys, I'm going to drop it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much for this coming out here. Bye for now. Thank you.